If you've seen my other agave video, you know that I have this giant agave plant in my yard, and now it has a stalk, which means it's going to grow really tall, and eventually it will die, unfortunately. I'm going to show you how tall it is in just a second here. Some people call that Texas asparagus when it grows up like that. And at this point, I'm anticipating it growing to around 30 feet. And um, you'll see how high it actually got in a few moments. One more look at the size. She's five foot seven. And you'll see me, and I'm six foot five. So let's take a quick measurement. And it's about 109 inches, something like that. So it's about nine feet tall. Let's watch the stalk grow in time lapse. It took about a month. It's now grown to 33 feet. So what's going to happen now is it's going to die. If you see the middle leaves, they're getting kind of thin. And every single one of those little flowers up top is just a little cup with nectar in it. And I'm going to show you one of those up close because even the pups sprouted. So it's an interesting life cycle. Um, the hummingbirds are loving it. The bees are loving it. And it looks really nice, but unfortunately, it's that's the end of this one's life. Here's a uh, photo study I did just to figure out how tall it is based on the measurements. And it's 33 feet, and the pups are about 4 feet tall, That the ones that are on the ground. Um, and there's the nectar in the little bloom and I'm going to show some video now, zooming in up high to show you all the creatures that liked to eat it. Now it's all dried up and you can see uh, my friend Juan is cutting away the old leaves. Um, most of them I've already cut off and gotten rid of. And in a second here, you're gonna see him pull it down using his truck. By the way, it's all dried up now, so there isn't sap spraying all over the place when he uses his chainsaw. All right, here we are in 2020, and it's been um, quarantine time, so I'm a little shaggier, but I've also lost some weight since those other videos. And here we go. This is one of the pups that I planted, and the circle of life starts over. And because the other one drops seeds, there's tons of little tiny pups still growing in the yard. I don't know if you can see these. But, uh, yeah, it's all starting over again. <laughs> 